Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me. We're going to talk about some of my favorite fintech ETFs, which I think is one of the most high growth potential spaces in the entire stock market over the next decade or so. Um, it's gotten hit hard recently, so I'm really excited to get into this. Before we do, please click subscribe to my channel and take a minute to check out the link you see on your screen for a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So fintech or financial technology is a pretty broad category. It consists of companies engaged in activities like payment processing, uh, banking software, cryptocurrencies, person-to-person uh, -person payment technologies, and so on. So this, this sector has gotten hit hard in the recent stock market downturn. A lot of these are high growth companies. Some of them aren't profitable. And as such, they've been hit hard. That's the worst hit part of the market in the recent downturn. But there is a lot of long-term potential here. The way that we use money, the way we pay for things, the way that we pay each other, the way that companies handle their bill payments and automated payments and things like that are rapidly evolving. And I think we're still in the very early stages, especially in a lot of places outside of the U.S. So it can be tricky to pick winners and deal with the volatility in this space. So if you're not comfortable with trying to choose individual fintech stocks, the ETF route can certainly be the way to go. So three of my favorites, in no particular order, the first one is the Global X Fintech ETF. This one's been around for a while. It's a, a you know pretty established ETF. Ticker symbol is FINX. A little over $400 million of client assets. It's got a 0.68% expense ratio, which is a little on the high end for an a ETF that tracks an index, but this is a very specialized index, so it's not completely surprising. Um, the top five companies in this index are Fiserv, Block, Intuit, Adyen, and PayPal. So probably what you would expect from a, a company that, or an ETF that tracks a fintech index because those are all pretty big players in the space. So if you want just kind of index-based exposure to fintech, that could be the way to go. Number two, uh, ARC Fintech Innovation ETF. This is one of the Kathy Wood ETFs. Ticker symbol is ARCF, A-R-K-F. Um, $840 million in client assets. It has a 0.75% expense ratio, which again, a little on the high end for an ETF, but this is an actively managed ETF. And for an actively managed fund, that's really about average. Um, you're paying managers to assess financial technology companies and allocate money as they see fit, not as an index tells them to. Uh, the top five companies in this ETF right now are Coinbase, Block, Shopify, Twilio, and Mercado Libre. And this is a pretty concentrated ETF. Those five companies combine for 44% of assets. I actually really like this asset mix. Um, I kind of like it better than the first ETF I mentioned. Uh, Block, Shopify, and Mercado Libre are among the larger investments in my own stock portfolio. So I really like the um, you know their, their manner of thinking here, I guess I would say. Um, last but certainly not least, the ETFMG Prime Mobile Payments ETF. Ticker symbol is IPAY, I-P-A-Y. $481 million of assets are in this ETF. Just like the ARC example, it has a 0.75% expense ratio. It tracks an index of mobile payment stocks. Very specialized index though, so that's why you, that expense ratio is a little bit elevated. And it's got some of the, the who's who of mobile payments right there. The top five. American Express, Fiserv, Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal. If you think mobile payments, those are probably the five biggest companies that come to mind. So if this is a very a more specific ETF than either of the first two, which are just kind of broad fintech, if you think mobile payment technology in itself is in the earlier stages, um, I know, for example, Visa and MasterCard are both planning to really lean into the person-to-person -person payment aspect of the mobile payment space and they really haven't even gotten started that much yet. So I, uh, if you like that, then check out this ETF. Hopefully you found that informative. Please leave me any comments, thoughts, or questions you have, and I will do my best to address them all individually. And thank you for joining me. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10 top 10 best stocks to buy now.